Steve McQueen collection. Uh, obviously, I've got uh, pretty much all of his films. Um, there are some documentaries, and I've even spoken about some of them, like Steve McQueen, Man on the Edge, before. This is a DVD, uh, which is also featured as an extra feature on the Hunter Blu-ray that I talked about a couple of weeks ago on the channel. There's another good documentary as well, um, if I can find it. Uh, yeah, about Le Mans. The uh, the movie, this the documentary was quite good as well. Um, you can get this on Blu-ray. Definitely one that I recommend. So, I am one for being interested in documentaries about him. And uh, there's one that caught my attention quite recently. And I'm going to talk about that today. So this documentary is Steve McQueen, American Icon. And it's the untold true story of the spiritual quest of a Hollywood legend. Now, um, I thought this was kind of an interesting angle to take on this as well. Um, I noticed that uh, this is coming to it from kind of a, a Christian perspective, not something that I really get into normally. But I didn't let that put me off because at the end of the day, if this is what he was about towards the end, um, then so be it. So, um, obviously the plot synopsis here, Steve McQueen is, a, is truly an American icon, one of America's most endearing and intriguing movie stars. He is still the king of cool, according to Esquire magazine, 50 years after the zenith of his career. The coolest thing about him, however, is barely known. Despite countless biographies and articles, Steve McQueen was a believer in Jesus Christ. On the surface, McQueen had always had everything he could want. Fame, cars, home, more money than he could ever spend in a lifetime. An avid fan of the actor and an owner of a replica of McQueen's car the class from the classic film Bullet... Pastor Greg Laurie hits the road in his mint Mustang, travelling the country in search of the true untold story of McQueen's redemption, filled final chapters, narrated by Gary Sinise. So, um, obviously this is uh, something that got released in fairly recent years, and I've not actually heard of it, I just found this looking online, and uh, I'm going to talk a bit more, in, more a bit about it now anyway. Very quick 10 second promo and affiliated link for you with a discount code Tactical Soap. We've got Maverick, Bond, and Durden. Check out the video description for a link and a discount code. So, yeah, this is a pretty good DVD. Um, like I say, this is available in the UK. It's one that I've picked up, and I've not even heard of this one, but it's uh, from looking at it, it's been out since 2019. That's when it was made, anyway. And like I say, I was a bit concerned at first it was going to be kind of like. Um, a propaganda piece for, for religion, um, whether you think that's a good or a bad thing, interpret that your own way. But when you're coming at this from a point of view, whereas I just want to watch a documentary about Steve McQueen, he's an interesting guy, uh, certainly not a perfect guy. Um, but obviously his movie career was quite interesting. And he, he liked, like the, the um, film description suggests, he was a very cool guy. So... Um, Anything that gets into that from a, a different angle to what we've seen before, in my book, is quite interesting. Now, um, obviously, as I say, I was concerned about the, the sort of propaganda thing. Like, was it just going to be mostly about religion? And it wasn't at all. Um, and it's very genuine as well, because this is something that he was into towards the end. It's something that he embraced. And I think what's interesting about this as well because they talk about redemption in this as well. Now, I know this is something that um, is a concept that religion and Christianity in particular does uh, embrace. It's not something that I follow. I'm not a religious person myself, but I do understand um, the positives from, from these things. And that was something that he found in himself. But it's interesting from, from me as a fan, because that's something that I've always found very difficult to reconcile about Steve McQueen, knowing what I know about him. Obviously, he was the king of cool, in inverted commas. He was an actor, but in real life, he was... Uh, I would say that there were moments where he was anything but. And this is nothing um, that is kept too secret. I mean, if you've seen any in-depth documentaries about him, they do get into this. There's a lot of drug use, there's a lot of abuse, there's a lot of cheating on his wife. Um, and there was a lot of uh, a lot of personal and professional bust ups that he had uh, throughout his career with a lot of pretty good people, from what I understand as well. He was a bit out of order a lot of the time. And uh, if you watch that other <coughs> documentary I was telling you about the uh, the Le Mans one, it does get into that in further detail. In that, I've seen other documentaries on TV before I get into that. So, like I say, as a fan, 
it's difficult to reconcile that side of him in reality with what we see on screen. Obviously, there's the whole separate the art from the artist thing. Um, so, you know, obviously, that's what I do. I'm a big fan of his. Knowing what I know, I'm still a big fan of his. And to me, I always thought, well, given that he is this bad guy that, that we know he well, he was anyway at times, um, that makes him a really good actor because you're not getting that when you watch his films, rest assured. Um Unless you kind of look into the eyes, you know, he's very sad, very, um, well, there was a, not very sad, but there was a sadness there. There was a, a, tr a tragic story to him as well, which is obviously part of the, the, uh, the intensity they brought to a lot of his roles. <laughs> and they get into that in this documentary as well. So, um, obviously, like I say, going back to the, back to the religious aspect, um, this was a big deal for him reconciling his own past from his lived experience, I guess. I don't really usually like to use that phrase. It usually gets used for um, dodgy purposes. But in this in this instance, his his life experience is obviously... I mean, it's one thing for us to hear about his stories, but obviously he, he lived his life. And there was a lot of stuff that he couldn't reconcile from his past. Things that had been done to him, and things that he had done to others. And I think he found Christianity in part as a way of um, coming to terms with that and finding forgiveness in himself from himself as well. Because I think there would have been a lot of guilt there as well. So the documentary kind of goes through his career. I mean, for the most part, the documentary is, is about 90% about just him being an actor and all the stuff that he was interested in. The other 10% is the, the religion side of things. It gets kind of brought up through this a couple of times. Uh, it's kind of his, his story, his career cr chronologically. Uh, so it gets to some of the early things that he did and his couple of times where he was exposed to, to religious stuff. But he kind of brushed it aside, seemingly. But then towards the end, um, particularly as, as he got ill as well, uh, we know what happened there. But he, he definitely embraced it, as a lot of people do when obviously they get to to tough times like this but from what I was getting from this he'd embraced it uh, sometime before that because he interestingly kind of flew off the reservation a little bit so to speak uh, with his career turning down a lot of huge roles movies like The Bodyguard um, that gets mentioned in that in this uh, I'm a big fan of that movie I do like Kevin Costner back in the day uh, when he was doing a lot of good movies that was actually one that was, from what I understand, was written for him, for Steve McQueen. And that gets mentioned in this briefly, as well as a few other films as well that he was offered. But uh, obviously towards the end of his life, not just when he was ill in that last year, but um, the last well, many years of his life kind of became a bit of a recluse uh, compared to what he had lived as, as a Hollywood star. And this gets into that. And it tells a story. I don't want to get too much into it, but I'd recommend it. Give it a watch. Like I say, you don't have to be religious. I'm not. Uh, you don't have to worry about it being too preachy, literally, in this case. Um, it's not. I, I really say it's not. You can, you can have a respect for other people's beliefs and not have to share them. And this documentary absolutely caters to that. Um, which is great because obviously with in the current realm of ideologies and so on, it's not enough to respect someone else's belief system. You have to also um, affirm it as well as being real. So uh, not to get too much into that. You can go to brandixreviews.com and see a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But uh, but yeah, this this documentary doesn't push that you know to the to that extreme anyway it doesn't cross that boundary i think that's uh that was something that was important to me when i bought this that i was uh like i said i was concerned that they might do that and it put me off steve mcqueen as well because i get it i get he was into religion but if they were kind of using him to sell the the concept of religion then that would be uh, really annoying as well but uh, no, really, really good documentary, very heartfelt as well. There's a lot of good interviews in this as well. It's got um, Barbara Minty uh, that he was married to as well. She's in this quite prominently as well. I think she even co-produced it or something. Um, and uh, also even um, Mel Gibson uh, turns up in this as well. Um, he has a few, does well, does some pretty good interviews. He talks about his own um, admiration for McQueen as a young actor growing up. 
and how he kind of emulated some of the things that he that he did on screen. So again, it's, it's there's lots of stuff like that in this. I mean, that's that's the majority of it, to be honest. The like I said, the, the Christianity side of things, but it just mostly comes in at the end, and it is absolutely relevant because it's part of his story. So, uh, so I don't think there was anything disingenuous about the way that they presented it here. So I definitely recommend this. And it, also as well, I think I'd have to say credit where it's due. It's because of the, the, the sort of religious aspect of it, and obviously telling Steve McQueen's story is a very sad, very depressing one, knowing how it ended. Um, if you just kind of look up random YouTube videos and uh, like news footage of when it was announced he died, it's really sad. And you'll see interview footage, audio interview footage, where he was thanking um, Mexican doctors for saving his life when ultimately we know that didn't happen. Little things like that, it's very really sad to see. This, on the other hand, gives you another angle on it. So, like I said, you don't have to follow the religion. I keep saying that. But just the fact that he found some kind of peace towards the end, that he found that redemption in himself and was able to forgive himself and others through the teachings of religion, whether or not you think it's a false belief system. Um, like I said, I'm not even going give, to give away my, my thoughts on that. That's not the point. The fact is that he did. And there's definitely a positivity to that as well. So uh, it's, it's it's a kind of bittersweet ending rather than just being bleak as hell, which in a lot of other documentaries you do get from uh, telling his story, if you're going to tell it right up till the end anyway. Uh, I think it's, it's always difficult when, when you get into sort of biographical stuff. It was the same with the, the, the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Obviously, the story of Freddie Mercury is fascinating, it's entertaining, they kind of had to cap that story off on a high note, so they did it pretty much ending at Live Aid in was it 85. You could have gone further, but it's, yeah, yeah, no, not good. So with this, they, obviously it does go right till the end of the thing, and uh, but it uses his faith and what he did and the choices that he made and the people that he was associating with and learning from as a, yeah, a very, very kind of warm, but still sad um story but it's a, it's a new spin on 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 the queen's story as well so um i hope i've got that through anyway just just watch the damn thing you don't have to listen to me uh ranting about it but uh anyway the thing itself just in, in specifics i don't know if you can get this on blu-ray i couldn't find a blu-ray option but it's it's perfectly fine um it's um, about 80 minutes long and this is obviously region two as well it's an American documentary, and uh, it's twelve certificate just because it gets a lot in. It tells the story about his drug use. I mean, it specifically says on the back that's that's the reason why why it's a twelve uh, drug references. But um, but yeah, that's that's just that's just his story. You know, there's a lot of that in there, um, obviously. So uh, I think I'll leave it there. What one reason I wanted to do this video was because. Um, many years ago on the channel I did do some videos talking about Steve McQueen films and I also did a, a specific video talking about the um, the Man on the Edge documentary that I showed you a moment ago, uh, the DVD of that, because that's a really old original documentary that was directed by, uh, not directed, it was narrated by, um, I can't remember his name, James Coburn. So um, that's also a good one, but again that's a very sad one because it you know, kind of gets into things at the end for him. Uh, this is narrated by Gary Sinise, but um, it doesn't do too much narration on it, to be honest. It's just a little bit so that he comes into it. Obviously, Gary Sinise, the actor, that played uh, Lieutenant Dan in uh, Forrest Gump. But, uh, but like I said, I wanted to do this video just because I've talked a lot before about uh, other Stephen Queen films and DVDs and stuff like that. So there's a playlist on the channel if you want to check that out. I did a video a few weeks ago about uh, The Hunter. The last, that was again, kind of getting into McQueen's death. That was the last film that he did before he passed away. And it was very really sad to see him in that, um, in the kind of shape that he was in in that. Because he was, he looked very tired and he'd lost a lot of weight as well. And you can tell that he's not well uh, in that movie. So if you want to check that out anyway, I did a video on that uh, couple, maybe a couple of weeks ago. But it is in that playlist as well on Brand X Reviews. So finally, um, obviously I did a video, um, about 10 second intro, talking about Tactical Soap. That's one of our affiliates. You can check out a link to get a discount code in the comments of this, the, the description of this video. You can like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
check out brandxreviews.com. We've brought that back recently, although it is a redirect, so there's no actual website there, but it will direct you to another project that I've been working on. And we do get into pop culture stuff in context of the culture war and some of the more, um, some of the darker stuff anyway that's going on uh, with, well, the world, but also how it seeps into entertainment and so on. So where well, you can check that out and some book reviews, not book reviews, um, book recommendations and music recommendations, all that kind of thing in there. So I think it's still in line with what we do with this channel, talking about things um, that we like. And speaking of that, um, hopefully this week, myself and my co-review of The Core are going to be doing a, a three-part video talking about the Zack Snyder trilogy, or well, the Snyderverse of DC, because uh, that was something that I hadn't really got into too much uh, on the channel because I hadn't watched the Justice League movie until um, last week, so I wasn't able to talk about it. I uh, wasn't hugely interested, but I gave it a chance and uh, obviously rewatched the other movies as well, the other two movies. So I'm going to talk about that on the channel as well, so that's coming up in the next few days if that interests you. Pretty much unrelated to this video, but uh, it's, it's what we've got coming up on the channel anyway, so uh, to any of you that are still watching. Um, I will just leave it there and say, uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching.